Hey everyone, Mike here again. Now this time we're doing a BMX story time. And the main reason is because, well, why would a 47 year old man <laughs> decide to get back into BMX and go riding again? Well, this is a, well, it's interesting because it goes back. Now it's been 32 years, 30 years since I went riding, uh, at least seriously. And well, my buddy Tim and I, uh, we met in 88, my buddy Tim and I, he was my rider, my riding partner, um, and my best friend. And unfortunately he's, he's got a, he's a little hesitant to get back into riding, but I'm trying to convince him. I don't know if I'll get him to do it, but I'm trying my hardest uh, because I'm sure I'll get him on the channel and show off his, uh, 86, no 87 dyno detour. He's still got it. And unfortunately I don't have my 80, 88. Harrow Sport Freestyle, which I love. That was my first Harrow. And then I got a 1990 Harrow Team Master Bash Guard, which I absolutely love too. And of course, my father got rid of him. And maybe I need to go to therapy because that's like the umpty nine thing that he got rid of. And I'm not holding a grudge or anything, but you know, it, it hurt a little. So in any case, I, uh, that's when it started for us and then we used to go to this place called the monastery the cumberland monastery which i've shown on my channel before um uh, do my walks um uh, pipe smoking showing nine men's misery and stuff um so it's a place we used to go riding quite a bit and it's a very special place to me and him and many other people in rhode island and especially in cumberland <clears throat> which is where i grew up and you know over the years he and I would get together and we'd talk about the old riding days. And it's always something that we go back to and we have fond memories. It was like, times were great with that. So I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I know a couple, of, back in January, I was going for a walk in the monastery. I was trying to get exercise. Um, and it just happened to be a warm day and I was walking. And I don't know if anyone else can do this in their mind. I think we all kind of can to a degree. And um, I could just picture in my mind, Tim and I riding our bikes through those trails causing trouble and whatnot. And then as I was walking, continue walking, there's a few people with uh, bikes whizzing by like Tim and I used to do. And I just said, you know, maybe I should get a bike. Maybe I'll look into this. Um, and that's what I did. So then I just went, purchased this bike and uh, I was looking for an 88 Harrow Sport um, the red frame with the yellow and, and black. <clears throat> and uh, I saw some on eBay and I think Facebook, there was a few uh, marketplace, but they were expensive and I don't know, it's a bit shady. I was like, I'm not gonna fuck over that much and who knows if I'll even get the bike or whatever. So I said, well, let's play it safe. Let's look around on the internet a little bit more and see what I can find um, for, you know, something. And then there was, an, I guess I'm a little late to the lineage, the Harrow lineage models. Um, because they did one, I think in 2017, they did a Harrow Sport, I think it was a Master, it was Teal, which would have been close to what I had. Uh, mine was a little bit different. I had those uh, at the end of the, uh, the frame over here, uh, right over here near the chain stay or whatever. <clears throat> it bowed out so you could put your feet on there. And I, I remember as a kid, I didn't like that, <laughs> but I kind of miss it now. It was a unique thing. Um, so in any case, I decided, all right, I'm going to go with this. Now, I should have gotten the Groundmaster, which is like a more traditional freestyle thing and not the Bash God thing. But I have such a love for the Bash God, I could not help myself. And in my mind, when I was buying it, I'm thinking, all right, I'll do some street stuff. And I do want to do that. But I got to tell you, doing the few sessions that I've done, I am nowhere near ready to do any of that stuff. Um, I got to get my balance back and everything. But in any case, back to the story time. Um, so I got the bike and uh, I'm trying to get my buddy Tim to, to freshen up his old dyno detour. He says he's going to do it. I don't know. We'll see. I think I can convince him once he sees me ride a little bit more. That competitive nest that we had when we were kids might come out and uh, he'll probably want to do that as well. So we'll see. I hope that happens um, and I'll bring him on the, sh the channel here and, and we'll, talk, we'll talk some shop or whatnot. But uh, in any case... So that's, that's what I'm doing. I, I, I don't know, I just, I felt like, you know, some people, they get into uh, playing an instrument when they get older. 
Um, they want to challenge themselves. And of course, maybe has got his air compressor going on. All right, now that my neighbor shut his compressor off, where was I? Now, some people, when they get older, they challenge themselves. Everyone likes to challenge themselves, and they like pick up an instrument, uh, pick up painting and such. I've decided to take up flatland for some strange reason. I don't know, I'm very comfortable on a bike, even though I can't do much of anything at the moment with a bike. But I figured I should give this a shot. I've seen other videos of men my age doing it. Uh, or older doing it and it looks so simple it's not I know it's not because <laughs> uh, in the few sessions I've had I've uh, you know the brain knows what to do the body kind of knows what to do but it doesn't remember exactly what to do and uh, it's an interesting dynamic it's also frustrating because you know how to do it it just doesn't nothing's syncing up it's like one of those moments where your your mouth is saying something but your brain and your mouth aren't synced up, it's kind of like that. And it, it's not very easy to uh, get this all synced up. But I'm getting there, there was some progress today, um, but uh, I, I'm nowhere near where I need to be. So I thought, it's kind. I need to get it some exercise, I need to challenge myself, um, and this is the way to go. So, and I think also, you know, I used to cover Star Wars podcasts, I used to do that. I did a He-Man podcast. Um, I've gone on this nostalgia train quite a bit in the last 20 years, like we all have, my generation, and even the millennials and, and whatnot. Um, and I feel like this is like the last stop for me with uh, this bike here. Now, of course, I'm hoping Harrow um, releases a 1988 uh, lineage sport. Uh, I'd be all over that in heartbeat, and uh, that'd be great. But I do plan to getting a modern flatland bike and challenging myself that way too. This is kind of, I'm gonna kind of baby this, I think more than I intended to. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, that's the story time for this time. The neighbors are getting restless with their air compressors, mowing the lawns, sanding things and whatnot. So I'm gonna end this here. Uh, we'll pick up again next time. All right, take care.